Hi everyone. Um, I want to talk about the realistic ways we change behavior. Because the question here isn't just, is one industry good or bad, but we have a problem. And the problem we have is that the way we spend, the way we think about our own happiness in relation to goods is problematic and bad. It's the idea that if I buy something, it's going to make me happy. And I don't just, I'm going to buy it. I need to buy it now. It needs to come tomorrow. And I need to buy five of it in five different sizes, which I'll send back. Boycotting an industry doesn't change any of the mindsets of individual people, which is the crucial thing we need to do to change society. So the question here is, why do we have the problem of fast fashion? Because proposition have talked about fast fashion, but they've not explained, is it that people love clothes so much and have to buy the skirt? Where does that come from and how do we change it? So the first question is, where does it come from? We think it comes from broader things. It comes from things like media influences. It comes from fashion magazines. It comes from the idea that it's creating society through movies, through films, through the way we have interactions, through the billboards you see from a very young age. That you need to buy things, and buying things and owning things is equal to happiness. That's the fundamental problem that we have in this debate, which is not changed. The question here is then, does boycotting an industry do anything to tackle it? And they say, look, maybe it doesn't, but we can deal with all of these big issues while boycotting an industry. Why is it hard when you boycott an industry to then actually deal with the certain issues? One, it allows the narrative to be lost from you, because it means all companies get to say is, oh, no, the issue was fast fashion, exactly like you said, we boycotted it and we don't do that anymore, so now we're fine. You can't every time then do what Ade says, which is, they do something in an industry, you boycott it, they say, okay, you said consistently this was the problem. They do something else, you go, oh no, now that's the problem. So we're just going to do another boycott and another boycott. Because every boycott you do, it seems less and less Point effective. Of information if and you... the no, thank you. And then the actual answer is instead of doing 20 boycotts of 20 different industries, is to run a one campaign which is focused on changing consumer mind behavior. The question you've got to ask yourself is do you think it's going to be more effective to run 100 boycotts of different industries is what they want, or one campaign which is about buying less, being more ethical, and thinking about your decisions. 